Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today, looking at a Shodo box. I believe it's Carmen Rider, or maybe not. Maybe this guy's name is Outsider, or the TV show is Outsider, because it says Outsider, Shodo Outsider, and it says Outsider on the box here. This does require some assembly, um, and the instructions when you open up the box will be printed on the inside. Uh, so let me have a look at this. In fact, let me have a look now if there are instructions printed. Normally there are. Ooh. Open there, open there. Okay, there we go. So box opens nice. This comes out, and yeah, you can see inside the box there are printed instructions. And we have, you see here, perforated card which doesn't always cut straight so it's good to give it a little helping hand with a uh, box cutter okay now we can get a better look inside don't go back there okay sure it shows us actually not so much instructions a little bit more of the different figures that does have this one here Though, if anyone knows his actual name, I've not put it in the uh, description, you can tell me. Okay, I'm going to build him, turn the camera around, and we can get a better look at this figure, which is 118 scale. So let's get into it. Okay, here he is. It was minimal assembly. Just had to add the back part of the head and the two hands in. It also comes with this piece here, which I think is just a stand to put spare hands in. Uh maybe it acts as a foot stand as well to keep it in place i'm not sure uh very simple paint mainly three colors it's got that green sort of a uh, orange and a gray but it's effective enough add a bit of dry brushing and paint and that's gonna be really quite creepy it's a really nice figure because it just has that so different look that it does have a, a few plastic spurs there articulation nothing on the head shoulders do go all the way around out to the side, not too far because the sculpting gets in the way. Uh, biceps gets 90 degrees, which is cool. The hands just turn, swivel around, so does the bicep. I like the fact it's got such long fingernails on one hand and normal hands on the other. There is no waist. Legs don't go far because the sculpt forwards is a little bit, backwards is a little bit and outwards. Knees, he gets 90 degrees, then feet are on balls, so he can turn, go down and up. But it's limited motion, but there's enough. Uh, how does he scale? Let me get him to a little pose and have a look. I'll compare him to, let me, what shall I use? Let me use a, one of the new Joy Toy Zombies, I think I'll use, let me see which one. Let's use the big guy, because the big guy is so cool looking. In fact, let me straighten out the big guy so he's a bit taller. So he is about the same size, actually, as the big guy, has to be said. Um, obviously not as broad, but I would has I would say possibly more scary. Do you want a big fat zombie going to bite you and affect you, or some alien horrible creature to rip you to pieces? Um, scale's pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that, and that was quite cheap in all honesty to pick up. That was probably about £5, if that, uh, box, so that wasn't too bad. So I'm quite happy with that. Worth finding some of these, worth getting a few of these maybe, for like an alien incursion for your for your Joy Toy Marines to, do, 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 to wipe out, or some of your other sci-fi figures to battle with. Please like, share, subscribe, click the notification icon if you've not done so already, and check out my videos, there's over 900 on the channel now. I'll be back soon with more news reviews for you. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.